things that we really tried to emphasize, penalties. Uh, we did a good job third downs. Uh, I think we're over 50%. That's more than our goal. And then we were four for four in the red zone and kept them only uh, one score in the red zone. So all the things that we've probably been deficient at uh, throughout the year, we've really worked hard on and, and, and it really paid off tonight. Tanner hurt, or was Greg Long? Was that just an adjustment you guys made? No, we actually rolled uh, Tanner at center and, and Gatewood at guard, and Gatewood at center and Greg Long at guard. I think it's two good combinations, and, and uh, you know, still trying to, to get it perfect there. And uh, but it was two good combinations that worked, and, and it's good to get that depth too. You can't have enough quality centers. Defensively, it seemed like you guys were just assignment sound tonight. Is that a big step? For you guys against what you mentioned they popped a couple of those option runs, but against an athletic quarterback, was that a big step for you guys tonight? Yeah, I, I think just being consistent. You know, the thing that we haven't been all year, but all phases, we played well in spurts, but we've been inconsistent. And the thing that we really hammered home in this game was to, to play consistent for four quarters. And I really felt the entire team does. Probably the only thing that stood out, you know, were the two tip balls on, on the punts that we got to get cleaned up because, you know, that's on film and, and we got to fix it. But uh, other than that, I, I thought it was a very clean game offensively, defensively, and special teams. You know, I thought there were some good returns. And uh, I, I thought it was a great effort by the kids. It all started on that first play. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I did a great job opening up holes all night. And uh, from the very first play, I seen a hole. didn't have to make a cut. I just run. I know you don't care about, like, records and stuff like that, but, you know, we were all here thinking that you probably could have broken some kind of record tonight if you had 30 carries. Oh, uh, yeah, so that would have been nice. Uh, I did what I could on 14 carries up with. That would have definitely been nice. Uh, that's always in my head, but I have one now. How much do you feel like you're able to open the game for Ryan Metz? You know, when you're able to move the ball so effectively, it kind of opens up play action and other schemes like that. Oh, yeah, so it definitely opens up play action. Uh, we, we, uh, Coach calls me a uh, Leroy decoy. So uh, <laughs> using me as a decoy, uh, the defense flows, and it just opens up uh, downfield shots for Plinky, uh, other receivers. So it definitely helps us. On that 62-yard run, it seemed like a basic just lead play. Is that like a walkthrough, the way the line just blocked Yeah, I didn't, have to, I didn't have to make a single cut, just run straight, just right down the field. And that was the, one of the easiest touchdowns I scored. And all line, you know, fullbacks and tight ends and receivers in the perimeter did a great job blocking. Is that your favorite type of touchdown, or would you rather cut all, all around the field? Any touchdown, my favorite type of touchdown. I don't have a favorite, as long as I get in the end zone. <laughs> How fun was it the way the offensive line was playing for you? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, these guys uh, worked hard all week, and we've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it. Uh, come like pull through. Still got a, a chance to get to six and six in a bowl game. Uh, what needs to happen for you guys to win the last three? No, we went out to uh, play physical and uh, start fast. We started fast today and definitely showed and helped us and uh, feed off of each other. Uh, uh, defense makes a play, offense needs to uh, step up and make a play as well. Feed off each other. You guys can knock each other off and defense. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we, we came out there and scored. Defense got to stop. We were going back out there and uh, had some big plays. And yes, sir, just feeding off each other. We did a better job uh, feeding off each other than we have all season. Probably besides the ETSA game. Where do you guys go from now? Like this coming up week, are you guys going to do the same thing you implemented this training week, or what are you going to do? Uh, yes, sir. We're going to stick to the same thing we know. Uh, there's no room for error if we want to be close to a bowl game, and that's what we want to do. So uh, get to practice, work hard, and no excuses. Get the school record next game. Oh uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Sixty-eight piece. Yes, sir. <laughs> How fun was this one? Oh, it was a blast. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's it's always exciting to to win and and I mean to win by that much. I mean, and and this team was they're a good team and then. They, they came in here, you know, with the fight, and you know, I, I'm just glad that we, we were able to put everything together. And and there's still, you know, some things that we gotta, you know, correct. And you know, going into this three game stretch, you know, we we um we just gotta make sure that we're we're on the same page with everything. And I, I feel we were today, but you know, that was just a, a step, you know, towards where we want to be. Taking oh, that touchdown with Cole, it seemed like just a beautiful ran route, and I mean, the ball placement was just on point. Uh, I mean, I was very fortunate that the guy didn't turn around. Um, but I, I saw him not looking at me, so I figured, you know, might as well take the shot. But I mean, Cole, you can trust that guy. I mean, that, that dude, he's made me look good, you know, time in, time out. I mean, he's, he's reliable. I mean, he works hard and, you know, he, yeah, he just made a, he made a great catch. I mean, I wouldn't say the throw was perfect, he made a great catch. The deep crossing, that was, that was it? That was yes, that? yeah, we had two, uh, two, uh, the exact, yeah, two crossing routes. And I was kind of looking kind of left or right first. And then I kind of saw that he had the leverage, and um, the guy wasn't looking. So I was like, yeah, why not place the ball? 
<laughs> that first drive set a tone. Oh, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's it's always nice to, to go out there and, and you know put points on the board. Um, I mean, the field goal's nice, but to put seven on there, you know, get that uh, the tone started, uh, the momentum, and then our defense goes out there, and makes a stop. I mean, it's just it's big, and, and I think we we fed off each other's energy really well. I feel the offense, you know, when the defense was making stops, the offense went right back out there. You know, we we kept the that energy going. Yeah, I don't think there was a time, you know, maybe when we went, you know kind of drive stalled, but I feel that we had better energy and we were able to really connect, you know, all together, all three phases of the game. You speak about dependability as a quarterback. What's it like, you know, having a player like Cole Freitag, but also playing to get seven uh, catches for 77 yards and two touchdowns? Oh, I mean, just those two and, I mean, everybody else, too. I mean, uh, everybody, it feels like, to me, had catches and a lot of them had great catches. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I rely on every single one of them. And, um, I know last week we kind of had a had a rough game, but I mean I'll go up to them and I'll tell them I'll go right back to you, and that, that's just the trust that I have with them because I know I see what they do, you know, at practice, and and I rely on, I mean not just Cole, not just Plinky, but I rely on all the tight ends, all the receivers, I mean all the running backs, and I mean that that's what you got to have as a quarterback, and and you know I, I just feel that that they'll bail me out in certain situations. And I'm like Cole, I mean, they, he made a great catch. And, uh, and a lot of the other guys did too. So, you know, I'm you know, just very blessed to have the, the, the crew that I have around me. And, um, you know, I think going forward, we have something special. So good to control your own destiny as far as getting back to six and six. Oh, definitely. Uh, it's, it's always nice, you know, not having to rely on what somebody else is going to do. But, you know, with that, we can't just say, hey, we have it in the back. We haven't earned anything yet. We have three games left, and we have to go not just a game at a time. We have to go one practice at a time and just build on that. And, you know, it's nice that, that we, like you said, are able to control that. Now we just got to take advantage of that. But what is it with the communication you and Mets have? He seems to work for you. Um, that is a great question. And Mets, I think really our redshirt year, he was our quarterback, and we just had great – uh, you know, we bought it a lot, and he's become one of my best friends off the field. So that just carries over to the field. I can't complain. <laughs> seven for seventy-seven and two touchdowns. Man, talk about your night. Uh, is that what I had? Yeah. Well, I mean, the O line they did a great job blocking, and I just served for the down. Mets went through his progressions, and I just happened to be the guy uh, who got open. Um, not to say that anybody else wasn't open. I think, you know, as a whole, the receivers uh, really did a good job, and you know, the quarterback just goes through his reads. And like I said, I, was, I just happened to be the guy tonight. So, two nine kind of set everything up early in that first drive. Aaron just kind of set, set the tone for your offense. Oh, absolutely. And I didn't mention that. I mean, Aaron, being Aaron, um, you know, they obviously have to account for him, and that just opens up a little bit um, more for us on the outside. So, love it. Love, love the way the whole team played tonight. Yeah, anytime. Got to feel good to get another W at, at home for the home fans. You know, after absolutely. And uh, Coog's kind of uh, mo was, you know, treating this as a wild card game, and we have three games left. Right? Four games, hopefully, with the bowl game. And uh, you guys know we have to win out, um, and that's been our number one goal is to get to a bowl game. And unfortunately, we put ourselves in this situation, but. I don't even know who we play next week. Florida Atlantic. Florida at Florida Atlantic. Yeah. Yep. So now we're gearing towards them, and then uh, two games after that. Oh. But you guys got off to a better start. Oh yeah, yeah. We got a way to a better start. You know, and we didn't slow down when we got out to a good start. What, what was the difference tonight? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really sure. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we went out there what we did. I guess we just won the more. Like, I guess we know what's on the line. You guys feel like you set yourself up for the next three? Uh, I think I think we definitely did. You know, we go out and win these next three games, and we'll be exactly where we want to be. You guys, was this the most consistent defensive play? Oh, uh, I would have to say yeah, this, is, this is by far the most consistent we played on defense. And now what we need to do is, you know, up in that, and then just keep it consistent throughout the rest of the year.